Turn that timer, we can chat, we can hang out. But we're gonna get the balls of flying. Let's see, uh, D E D F K. Should be game 55. We are on uh, 50 wins. I think is where we're sitting. We need 30 more. Just 30. Only 30. The idea is that we get these early and get the get the score early and then we can just take the rest of the time to uh bullshit and hang out and i'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the evening we might play some more god of war or jump into new world one of the two kind of leaning towards new world we haven't played that yet this week but at the same time i'm really digging god of war so We'll have to see. Right. All right, first inning down. Well, almost. I'm calling it too early. They could get a miracle hit on us, you know. So if we need 30 games, and it's about two hours every five, so that's four hours every 10, so that's 12 hours. We could do this. Always caught that. Yep. Yo, what's up, Zero? Always caught that too. The man's a beast. How's your evening going? Nice, nice. Not working super late tonight. I hate how long it takes to switch for them to switch their batters. My, uh, my NES is giving me troubles here before stream today. I was trying to turn it on. That's why we were, it took us eight minutes to go live. Is, um... I turned it on, it was just a green screen. And so I unplugged everything, took the cartridge out, and then plugged it all back in, and then still green screen. And I accidentally, like, I was picking it up a little bit. And I dropped, like, the corner of it, and then it worked. And I'm like, what the shit? So, it's also tired of baseball. I'm hoping nothing's loose inside where the the adapter was soldered on. There's a run. Let's go. Out of the park, too? 
Some poor bastard's car. It was probably the pitcher's car. Right, we just take outs now. So, this morning I took a nasty fall. I uh, was making coffee and then went upstairs um, to grab to grab some like what did I get? I think socks. Like I was I was going upstairs to grab something and coming back down. Um and my boss called, and so I was like on the phone with her. Uh, or I'm, sorry, I'm, she used to be my boss. She's a director now. So she's higher up than my boss. She's my boss's boss. Uh, but she's filling in because she's out. Um, and I was coming down the stairs, and I thought I was at the bottom. But turns out I was two steps higher than the bottom, and just fucking wiped out. Uh, landed on my leg. Which sucks is I was on my right leg, so it's my dominant one. Like, I landed on that, and, like, all I could think of is, like, oh, my God, I broke my leg. And I could hear her on the phone, like, hello? Hello? And I'm, like, uh, I need to call you back. And I hung up. And then, uh, like, struggled to get up, and, like, my leg was shaking. It hurt, and uh, it's still in a lot of pain, but it's not broken. I can put weight on it. There's no swelling. Or anything like that. No black and bruise, uh, black and blueness yet. Um, just very slow to getting around. Takes me like three minutes to get up the stairs. <laughs> I have to take it stair to time. Luckily, we have railings, so I can just like hobble my ass up. It's not a very fun experience. So I called her back too after I got. I got back up and uh, made sure it wasn't broken. I'm like, I am so sorry. I was like, I fell down the stairs. I'm like, I'm not lying to you. I'm like, I'm okay. Like, what, what's wrong? What can I help you with? <laughs> Didn't break my phone. You know, nothing got broken. So we're, uh, it's a Christmas miracle. Just my pride. Yeah, it's just really like the shin down hurts on the, the leg I fell on. A little bit of the knee, but I think the knee is just remaining scuffed. And then my big toe. My big toe hurts. So I think I jammed that in the stair when I fell. Great bun. Let's go. What's on your agenda for the evening? Zero, what are you be doing? You playing more New World tonight? Yeah. 
You know, we're actually making some seriously good progress in this game. If I could stand to do it nonstop, I would do it, but I just, I can't. I can't do this game for more than two hours. I know it sucks. We'd be done with this so much faster, but it's just... Until you play it, it is just one of the, like, most mind-boring games out there. If I was playing this for the, the sake of playing a baseball game, it'd be a blast. But the fact that we're just trying to quickly win as many games as possible and fastly, it's just... It makes it a very tedious task. Easy. What's next? Oh. Let's take the swing on that one. Just keep pitching these uh these strikes, chap. This pitcher's on fire. Right. I didn't clean this last night. I totally forgot. Beautiful bonds. Look at these. Okay, we got another in with Coles, and then we switch out. This will drop us to 29 wins, is that right? Oh, I was asking what your plans were for the evening. Besides cleaning. And then you miss me telling the story about how I wiped the fuck out this morning and fell uh, down the stairs. Right. Nothing major. <laughs> right. 
you drop your deck? What? Oh, no, no. So, I was... The NES was acting up today when I was trying to go live. And it was just having a green screen, like, when I turned it on. And so, I pulled the cables up, put everything back, and then turned it back in. And it still did it. And, like, I lifted it up again and it accidentally slipped out of my hands. And, like, the corner tapped and it started working. I was saying I was hoping that it wasn't the uh, the connection in the back um, for the uh, for the RGB mod. Nice, fun. You guys doing anything? Doing anything besides just hanging? Renting a movie or just chilling? Get rid of that giant snowstorm that's coming. Nice. Nothing's wrong with that. Alright. Substituting the good pitcher, and now we just coast. Yeah, I was debating uh, either God of War again tonight or some New World. I haven't logged on to New World in a couple days since like Monday, I think. the seventh inning done. shit along. We got games to play, buds. Come on. So I'm thinking of changing up the BRB screen for um, uh, for the Retro Conquest. I'm thinking of doing some like old uh, TV ads. I think it'd be fun, like the good ones. I have like a cool, like old screen, uh, old screen TV with like any uh, NES ads and shit like that on there. Back when TV was good. Maybe throw a few like cult classic movie trailers in there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, Discord channel for people to, like, pop stuff of their own in there that they want. They want to be added to the list, and then I'm going to start finding a way to download all of that into a folder. 
Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. There's a few people that do it. Sharpie does it with, like, some of his Sega games, and then I've been watching Goth a lot, and Goth's been doing it with, like, some of his commercials, like the Applebee's commercials and shit like that, so. And then I'll leave the, uh, the, uh, BRB screen with the, the clip player when we play normal game. That way it's kind of two different BRBs, right? So, like, if you come in and it's be right back, you're getting retro commercials. You know it's Retro Conquest. You're getting normal clips. It's the, uh, standard. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to have you guys be able to, like, submit stuff as well. So, you got some funny commercials that you liked back in the day. We got what, these three outs, and then we got a pitch. Beautiful. Yeah, got a Christmas from your grandparents today? Nice. What did you get? Anything fun? Oh, nice. Some great games. You know, I've never played a Bayonetta game. Never. Good restaurants. Oh, Culver's has some amazing uh, cheese curds. That's what you do. You get a burger from Five Guys and you get cheese curds from Culver's and you got a good meal. I'm going to try to, to take the passwords faster so we can see if we can share this under two hours for five games. I did. I saw they were it's like a bigger bigger haul this year. I don't know where it's gonna be. Unless they go back to the second floor and do it up there in the corner like they did last year. But I don't know what they had up there this year. Do they have the museum up there? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I know it's at the same convention center. I was talking, like, area-wise. Like, they would have to take it upstairs and knock out 
where, um... Uh, where the... History Museum was. Because there's no way they're getting rid of the arcade hall on the third floor. That's their bread and butter. Uh, planning on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're going again. I don't know if we'll be buying as much this year, but we'll try. My, my collection goal this year is not a number, but more of a, uh, set. I would, uh... I'd like to get a complete set of all DBZ games. Yeah, I forgot there was also something. There was also, um, like a gymnastics thing going on, too. Yeah, I, I, we, we did pretty well with the number. And when we were still climbing, I think I'm still, like, pushing 27 this year. Um, I want to do something different. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, the Apple Pippin had the first modem placed into it in the machine, and it was before the Dreamcast. Okay. Yeah, so I want to do, like, like Famicom games. Um, so, I'll do... So, I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet, right? Because, like, of course, Japanese gets, um, like, prints of their own games. So, do I get American versions, like, where I can, and then only the Famicom games of the ones that are not printed in the U.S.? Or do I get both sides? Because there are a ton on the Super Nintendo and NES that we did not get in the States. The only one we got in the States was Dragon Power, and that was renamed to Dragon Power because the States didn't think they were that we would want to buy something called Dragon Ball. Yeah, I played Marathon there. That was fun. Go big or go home! See, I don't really collect... Famicom games, or I don't collect Japanese games, though. I have, like, maybe a handful. I have, I have, like, the stuff I do have means something to me, or the other one was, like, Holy Diver that was, like, super, super cheap to grab, and it's a, a high-priced game, so I grabbed him. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start with, like, one for each, and then we'll go from there. I would love to get, like, the Famicom and SNES ones, though, because the box arts on those are so cool. I know there's stuff I'm not too worried about. But PS2 down. Nice, nice, yeah. That's the plan for us, too. It's our Thursday. Hang out Friday, Saturday, and then leave on Sunday. I think Bidwell's coming for Tetris. I'm not sure. He was going to let me know more when he got closer. Have tickets gone on sale yet?
let's see general admission for saturday and sunday is 60 bucks friday preview is a hundred what's the vig again doesn't actually tell me what the VIG comes with. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to find it. Oh, they're actually advertising tournaments this year cuz tournaments have been a fucking joke every year. Dude, I cannot catch a break here. Yeah, I'm on the page now. I'll look here in a second. Come on! There we go. I thought I was going to be there. So get all the tickets. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is a hundred bucks. Oh, he's got, he's got it. Oh, well. uh, and then swag, special NES cart name tag, event lanyard, pin, and a drink at the after party, and then access to the vendor hall from nine to nine thirty. This is weird. This says pre-order ticket holders get early access to the vendor hall at 9.30. So does, it mean, does that mean the vendor hall doesn't open to anybody, a, a normal people until 10? I feel like that's misleading verbiage. I did not do the uh, pre-show last year. I did it one year and it was okay. It was just, you get, the only thing you get to go do is go upstairs and play some of the arcade games beforehand but it's um they're not all set up like people are still setting up and like half the shit's not running so it's not really as much fun as they make it out to be yeah so the VIG still isn't worth it in my opinion unless you want the Unless you're willing to spend $75 on an extra half hour to the vendor hall and the cart and a drink. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. I think I'm just going to do... I'm pretty sure anybody gets into the after party. Um... The the after party was cool, like for ten minutes, and then I got bored. Like I was expecting, I think I was just overhyped about it. I was expecting to go have a fucking drink with Johnny Cage, but. Since I wasn't staff, we didn't get into the cool after party. We got the shitty outdoors, uh, listening to everybody else have fun party. 
Is it sold separately? So the only way I saw the, to get it was to get the VIG. VIG was the only thing that mentioned the after party. Yeah, see, this, you can't just buy an after party ticket. I think that's part of Saturday. Sorry, when I say outdoors, I mean it was. So, you know, at the top where the arcade hall was, we were in the, the little area in front of those doors. So, like, we were we were shunned to a fucking corner. It wasn't very it was not very impressive. And he was being a dick that night, too. So. I can't remember the guy's name that runs it, but he was not uh, he was not very nice. Yeah, the YouTube thing going on on the stage was not good at all. I did see, though, that Kelsey and John Riggs and uh, I think Metal Jesus are all coming back again this year, so it'd be kind of cool to see them. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't... Uh... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get the VIG. I'll save the what is it, extra two hundred bucks that Mal and I will save not buying it. Yeah, and I, it's, it's, I think it's gotten blown up. I think it blew up a little too fast is what happened. Cause when it was in the individual, like that hotel, like it was really fucking good and it was put together nice. And the first year of the convention hall, I just feel like they're always scrambling and like arguing and trying to find shit. Cause yeah, that first year I went, it was like in the back of a day's in. And so there was like, uh, BSG and I gave our our uh, panel in in a bar in the hotel, and then like we wandered like, yeah, there's snacks and drinks for you guys in room this this. We like wandered into a random hotel room and like hung out with people. Shit. And then the vendor hall was like out in this giant tent. Um, out back of the hotel. Which, I'm glad I bought the shit I bought back then, because, whoo, doggy. I, I, I'm glad I went on my big boxed console spree back then, because... Oh. Yeah, it sounds dodgy, but it was also really fucking good, and it was really well, like, ran. Like, when we got there, like, they, they greeted us, they gave us our badges, they walked us around, told us where to go. Um, we weren't fighting for extension cords or anything. Um. Yeah, it just, it, it, it felt a little more ran, and now I just feel like it's so chaotic. Like, I really wish they would set up everything Thursday and Friday. Or do a one-day event. Do a one-day big fucking event on Saturday and be done with it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. It's good. They were nice enough to invite us and put us on their 
their um panels for three years so i can show some respect and pay my money and and hang out with them There is one in St. Louis I've always wanted to try going to. When I um when I got the Donkey Kong record for the first time, the the Donkey Country one, they actually invited me but then like canceled me halfway through. Um and I was always going to go and check it out, but um I never ended up going. Oh my god, he dropped it. I couldn't get him to run back. The Christmas miracle. stupid once they get to a certain point i can't turn them around they won't fucking move this one's taking long because i can't score Beautiful. We need to get a score soon. No, otherwise we're going to go into overtime and it's really going to drag time out. Yeah, I can't believe this one's gone into like 30 minutes almost already. Crazy how much fast, uh, how much longer the game takes than you uh, actually try to score.
Okay, we're safe. Just ease it in, chat. Alright, still have a guy in second. Okay. Just need a good double and we can we can finish this off. Alright, Erico, your first home run. Let's go. Okay. It was clearly on, but whatever game. We need to score. Like, we're getting dangerously close. We have two more opportunities before we go into overtime. And I don't know if this guy can pitch through overtime. We'll probably get one inning. For sure. I have already substituted coals and shots out. We, we're gonna be fucked. One out. <laughs> Just be a home run. Oh. We're safe. Come on, that was in. Ah, oh, we gotta make up time, chat. That game cost us a shit ton of it. Oh, in game two.
Just think. This time next week, we're going to be on a new game. All right? Keep that in your mind. New game next week. Alright, easy game. It wasn't. That was actually a nail biter. Uh, B O D E D F O. Yeah, it's to be sure to be in like quarter of the way done with this game. I forgot to uh, collect my Ronda Rousey uh, Raid Child Legends piece today. Fight. Oh my god, so many ads. Let's see if we can get an early lead and not fuck around in this game, shall we? so early. Let's switch it up. You're out. 
Ba, ba, ba. This is what, game three of the evening? We knock this one out fast. That dude was right there. I got caught it. I just had some unlucky hits in this uh that last uh that last inning. There was one good line drive, but it just didn't have the air. And that dude was fucking right there waiting for it. Base, not bad, not bad. You can walk it in. I knew it. And that's caught too. Oh, it's not. Wow, okay. Oh, 
All right, nice little sweet spot there. Oh my god, go for it. Wait. <laughs> I bullied it in. All right. Let's get these out now. I think tonight's game is going to be a little over two hours. Nice, good set of route, uh, good set of outs. Short and fast. Nice, quick out. All right, here we go. Top, uh, bottom of the fifth. Now, if we can continue to get these up, we'll, uh, we'll kick our speed up a bit.
Beautiful. Good buns. That was super fast, uh, inning. Not gonna help you, Kelly. You can't hit these. It's just gonna be what middle of the sixth or bottom of the sixth. I mean, all right. So Coles is up first. Easy again. I know this can get boring, but we gotta get through it, guys. We gotta get through this baseball. Innings left. And then two more games. Change real quick. Mm. Alright, we got this. Get out of here. All right, one more. One more. Yeah, get him right to the pitcher and he can just toss him.
Not what I wanted to do, but... It worked out. I didn't mean to hit it so hard. Easy out. Next. That was a damn good one. Here we go. We need to make up some good time on this one. We're still not going to get all 502 hours, but we got this in like 20 minutes. Come on. Why are we changing? What a save. What a save. Uh, J-N-C-A-D-E-P.
Oh yeah, get in there. Um, so chat, I did go in and I locked out some of the games. Um, for the conquest, uh, mainly first party titles. Um, there are comments in the number uh, when they get unlocked again, so we'll, uh, we'll adjust those as we go through. Uh, we have changed up the final game in the series will be Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. I figured that'd be a good one to end the, uh, end the conquest on. And then I moved SMB3 to the halfway mark. So at game 700, we'll do SMB3. Fuck this up. We need a score. I thought that was going to be it right there. Yeah, I messed it up. I thought he was going to catch it. for now. One more. Nice. What we needed. That's embarrassing. Okay, we got our scores pretty early. So now we just need to milk some out. Thank you. 
easy. Get there. Nice. Good job, pitcher. quick here for a little bit chat Oh, I did not push a button. Got lucky. Man, what is all the mess up tonight? Goddamn game just fucking put me to sleep. doesn't want to throw up there anymore. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. Nah, nah, nah. Like, dude, you do as you're fucking told. And three. Let's go. Change it up.
bum 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 bum. You know, I haven't seen Nogus as he picked this. Naughty Nogus. I'm curious what's gonna get picked next. Am I just gonna pick something super long again, or are we gonna get a break from uh, lengthy games? Change pictures, I think. Yeah. guy out real quick and then I'm gonna adjust myself to the chair. Oh. Dude, sitting with a fucking bum leg sucks. Uh, how did the psychic know that Santa's nearby? He sensed his presence. I like that one. That's good. I'm gonna tell my niece that one this weekend. You get a kick out of that one. I was set for Skyrim. My cat has gotten up and spun around like six times now in the last hour. Maybe this is the lucky spot. Maybe this is the one where he'll stay. Um, if we win this one, I think this is 54 wins. So 26 after this. Yeah, he's sleeping in the chair beside me. I'd wheel him over here, but he just got comfy. I know the moment I wheel him, he's gonna he's gonna run away. I was uh, how's the Destiny Two uh, season going for you? I've been hearing some pretty bad stuff about it. Yep, there's that MySpace page that I still can't update the fucking banner on because it won't let me.
Oh yeah, uploads are temporary, temporarily disabled. Cool, still not working. Nice, nice, it's good to hear. How's, uh, how's PvP this season been? people talking about uh, the future of Destiny and where they think it's going to go. People are actually wondering if it's going to become a PlayStation exclusive. Path of Exile a bit. Off stream on my Steam Deck mainly. I'm pretty good so far. Spike. Yeah, but they were bought out by Sony. It's... They don't answer to themselves anymore. I'm hoping we eventually see D3 come out, Destiny 3, and they they stop with this, because what, Destiny 2's been out for 10 years? Five, I guess. No. Has it been five? I feel like it's been longer than that. It's been five years. <clears throat> yeah, going on six in March. I mean, it's double the lifespan of D1. We can power through. Okay, so they have announced kind of an end date or an end line, whatever. Has the new raid come out for this, uh, the season? Or they're not doing one for the season? Thank you. 
Yeah, there's just so much lore to the Destiny, the Destiny worlds. It, it's so, so complex and incredibly difficult to stay up to keep uh, up to date with all that shit. Okay. Yeah, get there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm bored as fuck, chat, trying to get through this. I like, I'm almost gonna fall asleep here. This is so boring. This is the third night in a row. I was debating like trying to get extra games in on Friday because I, I think I'm off Friday. Actually, I, yeah, I am off on Friday. So I was thinking about like, trying to get extra games in then, but fuck, I'm gonna just knock the five out and call it a good day. A greedy bitch. What happened with my pitch? <gasps> we never changed out coals. Shit, that was on me. J M G A B F B. All right, here we go. Game five. Get the day after Christmas off. Nice. Destiny two is now over 125 gigs. I never got that big when content was removed a couple years ago. I wonder if it's because of all the extra content with like the the um the old raids and shit. Like I'm curious if like the raids are actually saved in there and then you're just downloading code to release them. Solid start to this uh, fifth game. Okay. I got a big update recently, too, I saw.
Okay, solid hit. It's so tough. Like, I don't know if I should, like, push it or not. That's an out. Nice. I think I own it on Steam as well. We got our Minecraft uh, craft fix back in November. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna fall asleep. That was close. There's a free Lego game on Epic right now. Lego Builders. Free for the next 24 hours. Yo, what's up, Sharpie? How you doing, bud? Yeah, you're almost coming into some uh, some nap ball. I almost doze off. We're doing good. We're doing good. A bit sore from uh, you know falling down the stairs, but uh, we're we're doing okay. I'm trying to trying to sit through the pain. Thank you for bringing me out. How uh, how is the um, how is the rest of Gauntlet? <laughs> Not quite. I could still go up. It just takes me a little while. It's funny because I was I was coming down the stairs from getting something upstairs while I was making coffee for work, and my boss called, and so I answered it. Or my director. She was my old boss. She's not a director. She's my boss's boss. And so, um, 
she called me and I was walking down the stairs and I thought I was at the bottom of the stairs, but um, I had two more to go. And so like I step and I'm holding the phone with one hand and then the other hand and just like flies forward. And I managed to like push myself off the door because we have like a short doorway, like the stairs and then like our front door. And so I managed to like push myself off the front door and then like landed with my leg underneath me. Um, and luckily my phone didn't break. Uh, my leg doesn't feel broken. I can stand on it and put weight on it. So I think it's good. I think I just bruised it and my pride. Um, but like I'm just like laying on the floor and like the pain kicks in and she's, I can hear her going like, hello, Pam. And I'm like, I'm going to need to call you back. <laughs> Uh, it's so, like I get up my legs shaking it, I, I can't walk barely and then like I put some weight on it give it a few minutes it kicks in and Then I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like I get downstairs call her back and help her with the issue. She had uh, The wife had to the wife had to help me in the shower tonight though because I can't quite lift it all the way uh, On my own so But yeah, should be good in a couple days, I hope. Can't wait to get back in. It was good. Dude, it is, right? Gauntlet of Legends is a, is a low-key, really good game. And I saw you were, like, hunting the runes and shit, too. The uh, the rune hunting was a lot of fun in them. Did you end up changing classes or did you stick with the wizard? Top of the fourth. Yeah. Um, fine. Thank you. Swap to the Valkyrie. Nice. Oh, damn. I missed that part. Yeah, so I did some I did some looking up on the Dark Legacy game, and apparently it's like it's listed as an expansion, but it is completely different stages and characters. Um Yeah, I don't understand why I didn't get a I don't know why I didn't get a Dreamcast release. Because it's on GameCube, PS2, Xbox, I think. Uh, but yeah, I played that one a lot. That was one of my favorites. A buddy of me, I had a I had a level 100 wizard, and he had a level 100. Is it archer? I think he did. Right. 
Yeah, I used to play that or it was the Spider-Man on his PS2. Because uh, Spider-Man has the uh, Spider-Man bowling minigame and we used to play that all the time. Switch out pictures again. No, we did not. Fuck. Chat, we gotta stop forgetting this. Every four, we have to be switching. I'm just extra tired today. I don't know. I just, I cannot focus on this game. Spike. Spike. Yo, what's up, EPN? Welcome in, bud. We got baseball. We got baseball for days. Right. We're just talking about how I was debating putting some extra games in on Friday so that way our Monday's not too long, but. Oof, I don't know. How was, uh, how was the rest of your NBA today? Did you, uh, beat any of them today? in with Coles and let me switch out for Erico. We got written on a goddamn notepad. We won't do a second game. I think we'll get our baseball game done. We'll call it. I am exhausted. Good news is, even with that that terrible game two we had we're still doing pretty good for being our fifth game we're still quite we're still under two hours at the moment for the three minutes well we also got a uh, ways to go you're in 07 how far do you have Is it 12 You're doing it for multiple consoles, right? Not just the Xbox. Oh. 
Oh, come on. I don't know but 07 is the last of the Xbox. Nice. We just knock one console out uh, for, uh, for basketball games. Oh yeah, you got some good ones. Have you done the done any of the NBA jams yet? Those are always fun ones to watch. They are pretty lengthy though because they have a they have like a tournament or a season or whatever. Nice. They're fun ones. They're I mean they're arcade arcade games, right? But they are pretty fun. One more. Let's go. Oh, that was a great one. So, if we can manage to keep this one, this will be win 55. Well, 25 left. And then thinking five tomorrow. Five on Saturday, or five on Friday. And then five on either Saturday or Sunday, and then ten on Monday. Thinking that will be our finishing day is Monday, so if you're excited to pick the next game. Monday is it. Um, I did add some locks to the to the, the document this week. I got that all finished up. Bases loaded too. Here we come. Yeah, we're just padding padding the YouTube channel. At this rate, with three videos a week, we're fucking set till uh, September of next year. Metro Conquest has a year's worth of content ready. Uh, but I locked most of the first party games until game 100 or 150 based upon how many is left. Um, so there's only like 21 NES games locked and 12 SNES games. There's not a lot of stuff locked. I probably missed a bunch of first party, but 
There's also a lot of fucking trash in here. Like I didn't lock I didn't lock any of the adventure islands. Um, I locked the, the Battletoads games with, with. I locked what was left of the Battletoad games. Um, I didn't lock Double Dragon because we haven't touched any of them. Um, I I locked Castlevania. I didn't lock Contra. Uh, none of the Donkey Kongs, none of the Disney games have been picked. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's still quite a bit to be picked from. And then the SNES side, I locked Act Racers 2, because we just played Act Racer 1. Um. I locked a Battletoads game. Uh, Castlevania. Donkey Kong Country. I locked the last Donkey Kong Country game until after game 500. As we blew through all those. I think that's the only major... Oh, the other major one was Zelda. The last Zelda game I locked until game, five, game 500. Fight. Fight. All right, here we go. Game 55 in the bag. Beautiful. Um, A N G A B G K. Not bad, chat. Not bad. Five games, really close to two hour mark today, even with a mess up. 